You're you're watching Chad's. Uh, what does Chad what does Chad do? Go to hell. Yeah. Okay. You're you are experiencing Chad and his reviews of. I like beer. The beer. Beer. Of beer. <laughs> Go to hell. Uh, okay. Hey, welcome to our episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Drinking a beer tonight that is from a brewery I've never heard of and can't get here. Um, it's made by the Pangea Brewing Company or Brewery. They're out of somewhere in Wisconsin, but it's a uh, contract brewed by uh, the Sand Creek Brewing Company out of Black River Falls, Wisconsin. Um, this was sent from Mike in Pennsylvania, so thanks Mike for the beer. Man, this might be available out in western New York because it has the uh, deposit on here and it has New York as one of the states. I've never seen or heard of it though. Oh, it's it's called, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce I don't know if it's Lil Haas or Lee, Lee Jaws. It, it's written up there, I'm sure. Uh, Hop Nest Monster. Uh, this is a primor primordial extra pale India pale ale. Um, there's no description of it on the bottle itself, but I just looked up on the website. Um, it's like 7% ABV, 77 IBUs, and they made a point of saying that it's not dry hopped. Yeah, so I got uh, a nice two finger, bright white, marshmallow head kind of thing, like a... I think Beer News said this recently with shaving cream consistency. Uh, colors... Typical IPA orange. It's fairly clear and it's extremely bubbly. Don't tend to get that much effervescence in an IPA. Um, as for the aroma, smells a lot like the uh, Garrison Hopyard that uh, El Harlock sent me. Um, it's it's just all flowers. I think it's from the head, but like there's a creamy texture up front. The middle is like kind of citrusy. And it finishes like with a dry bitterness, but the hops don't linger here. I think the garrison, the hops linger, they dried out my mouth. It's not doing that with this one. It's got kind of a orange juice or maybe even like a orange sherbet kind of flavor in the aftertaste. It's pretty good. Um, I'm just going to sip on this for a little bit more and we'll come back with my final word. Oh hey, I'm back finishing up with the, uh, Lil Haas, Le Le I don't even know how to pronounce it. I mean, I would think that this is some, like some kind of Spanish word from the way it's spelled, but it's made in Wisconsin. So maybe it's some kind of Scandinavian word? I don't know. Um, as for the beer, it's, it's pretty good. But it, the problem is it's, it's very one-dimensional. It's There isn't a whole lot going on here. It's just straight up, like, by the numbers IPA. Like, it's not take, taking any risks or doing anything new or anything. Um, you know, it's got the good bitterness in the mouthfeel. And what, what I do like is that it's, well, the mouthfeel itself is dry. The hops don't linger, so it doesn't dry out my mouth quite as much as some other beers. So, it's an okay beer. I'm going to give this a 6. It's, you know, it's okay. It's above average. I can give it a thumbs up. Is it blowing my hair back? No. Is it knocking my socks off? No. Um, but is it turning me off? No. It's, um, you know, it's, it's definitely highly drinkable and pretty, you know, at least satisfying and adequate. You know, I think the drinkability to it is... It's pretty decent, you know, if you're a hop head like me. Yeah, 6 out of 10 for this beer. It's okay, it's above average. Thanks Mike for send it, sending it to me, and I still have a few more that he sent me in the fridge, so those will be coming sometime. And thanks for watching this episode, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Somebody brewed it, 
Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better. 